just uh, done cleaning you know, the Mermix Pignelli this uh, this afternoon. And um, as I was searching for one of these useful tubs, I found this wee guy. Now, I've lost um, a Madagascan hissing cockroach for about three months. I've lost this wee guy. And this has happened twice. I've lost him for three months, and he's always turned up somewhere or other in my bedroom. Always turned up in one of those wee boxes. Just likes to chill out in there. So I've finally found him, and I've got you back, you wee tyke. Well, listen to him. He's not happy. He's not happy I've found him. But he's not a feeder roach, so I won't be feeding him to any ants. At all. No. He is a pet cockroach that is not uh, very healthy actually he's quite healthy looking at him right now he's not a feeder roach at all I would not feed him to any colonies there um the I think um Madagascan hissing cockroaches have a bit more personality per se than other roaches like do roaches they just kind of sit there you know, I think these kind of I don't know you look into their eyes and they're like, oh, don't eat me. Uh, but, of course, that's just me. But um, I do use other feeder roaches. But this one, um, this one uh, is keen to my respect. And it certainly doesn't like to be bothered. <laughs> so what I'll do is I'll leave them there. I'll rehouse them. Um, I originally had um, Madagascan hissing cockroaches quite a while ago. Didn't feed them to anyone because they're too big and, quite frankly, um, if I was to cut them up and, you know, feed them to ants, I'd feel terrible because um, their exoskeleton is too hard for ants to burrow into, as far as I'm concerned, for the species that I would feed them to. But I wouldn't feed them anyway. But um, they're just a bit too too thick. <laughs> for that, so um, uh, this one's in no danger of being fed to anything. On the other hand, I use dubia roaches, red runners, and um, orange head roaches, and pallid roaches, and um, lobster roaches, because uh, they're the they're more variety of um, in feeder insects that I feed to per se. These, which is a Rudimerex, and I'm currently feeding them. Uh, a lot of dead, dead, um, dead, uh, redhead roaches, and you can see that they're absolutely enjoying their dead, redheaded roaches. So, excuse me, as you can hear music in the background, that's my radio, and I just like to have it in the background when I feed my ants. Um, but, uh, yeah, I fed them honey, and look at that, they're neatly lined out and spaced, and all that sort of jazz, and, um, it's, it's quite amazing to watch, nonetheless. Uh, let's see if we can find the queen before I end the video. Um, it's usually in there somewhere. Nope, I think she's too hidden. Oh wait, nope, no, no, I see her. In mid-frame, mid-frame, if you look hard enough, you can see her. In mid-frame, let me see if I can just get right in there. Possibly? No, it's not, it's not focusing. Oh well, camera's not been very nice to me today, guys. Anyway, um, just thought I'd share that bizarre discovery that I found that roach after three months, and like, wow, pfft, I didn't, I didn't know if it was still alive or not. But anyway, um, cheerio for just now, guys.